So thank you very much. Turning now to I Team 8, was the murders of Abby Williams and Libby Jeremy ritualistic? That's the issue a doctor testified about before the judge in day three of the hearings. I Team 8's Cody Fisher has been inside the courtroom since the very beginning. Here in Carroll County Court, the defense team is basically outlining their entire strategy in this case, essentially making today a mini trial without a jury. The motion at hand today was filed by the state. The prosecution is trying to limit what the defense team can and cannot say at trial. Specifically, they don't want the defense team to bring up any third party suspects. All morning, the defense has been pointing the finger at several other people other than Richard Allen. They're also trying to poke a major hole in the prosecution's timeline of the murders, which would open up the possibility that one of the third party suspects committed the murders because that person has an alibi during the time when the prosecution says the murders happened. We heard testimony from a doctor who the U.S. government says is a subject matter expert in ritualistic killings. She testified that there is no doubt in her mind that the killings of Abby Williams and Libby German were ritualistic, in part because of sticks laid on their bodies, how they were killed, and also that their blood was used to make a rune on a nearby tree. She also testified that images of runes from a Facebook post from a third party suspect that the defense is pointing the finger at are basically identical to runes found at the crime scene. The defense is attacking the doctor's credibility because in 2023, she went on court TV saying it was a ritualistic killing after she read court filings, but she didn't actually review all of the evidence firsthand until spring 2024, basically trying to say that to protect her reputation, she needed to keep her same opinion. Although the doctor did push back on that and said that her opinion was only confirmed after reviewing the evidence. There are several more witnesses that the defense wants to call, so this court hearing could take a long time this evening. Reporting in Carroll County, for ITMate, I'm Cody Fisher for WishTV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.